Good day everyone. Welcome to Product One Web Series. My name is Rohumuri Tsukhasao and I'm working as an application engineer for Product One. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration about what is new in uh, Creo 5 and I will be focusing on two extensions by the name of uh, Advanced Framework Extension. This is an extension that you will normally use uh, for your framework design. And the second part of uh, the demonstration will be Intelligent Fastness Extension. This is an extension that you will use for adding fastness uh, into your bolted joint interfaces. And uh, the licensing of uh, these extensions is, if you have a license for advanced framework, you are able to use the full capability of uh, intelligent fastness extension with this uh, extension and uh, or you can be able to get the, the intelligent fastness extension alone that maybe you can be able to use with your Creo parametrics. Going into the demonstration, the first part I will show you the capability in uh, advanced framework. In Creo 5 the user interface for connector element is being improved with new tabs where you can get the, the reference tab and the setting tab. In Creo 5, the good thing is you are able to show the preview of the element that you add. Like for example, if uh, I want to check if the dimensioning of my element uh, satisfy the, my design, I can be able to do the preview without the uh, ending the activity of adding the new connector element. Like for example, if I evaluate my model, I see that the new element that I've added, it interferes with the I-beam. I can directly and quickly go into the definition box and change the direction of the offset and be able to evaluate the, the changes quickly, directly into the model. And then, okay, this is uh, all that uh, I wanted to show you for advanced framework. I will move into the second part of this demonstration for intelligent fastness extension with its new capability in Creo 5. In this uh, extension for Creo 5, intelligent fastness support collapsible list. This means that you are able to define by default which uh, fasteners are collapsible in your library and uh, which one by default can stay at the top. Like for example, in here, the ISO fasteners are being defined to be the first in the list and they are collapsible and the DIN one are being defined to be the second in the list. Like working with the fasteners and catalogs of the fasteners, it can be exhausting like going into the long list of uh, fasteners looking for the fastener that you are looking for. Like for example, you can be able to define that this ISO 4014-5.6 can be at the top of the list. Let's say for example, you are using it more often. You can be able to find it quickly into, into your, your, your catalogs. And then you are able to expedite the process of adding fasteners into your assembly. I will move to the last part of this demonstration where I will show you the capability of Helicoils using the same extension of intelligent fasteners. In Creo 5, this extension is being improved where you are able to add the inserts directly into your, into your design. If you need maybe to strengthen or protect your threaded part, you are able to add uh, this uh, insert directly into your design. You can be able to change it, the dimension of the insert directly and be able to see the preview in the model for, for these uh, changes that you will be making to add insets. And the good thing about this is you are, when you add the helicoils, you are able to pattern these helicoils together with the bolt that have been added into the design, as you can see from the hi highlights in the model. This is all that I wanted to show you with these new changes that are integrated into Creo 
five. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration.